Do I have dry knuckles? This is not gonna be a cute segment of the video. I don't like being wrong. I will take the L on this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second episode of trying brands that have sponsored my YouTube friends. Are these hoes sellouts or are these legitimate brands that we are going to love? Most of them I feel like I'm familiar with, but I'm excited to put them to the test. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel, the vlog channel, join the new Discord, and I've also got new merch launching on my B-Day, August 11th, so get excited for that. And uh, let's decide if these bitches are sellouts. First up, we have a newer friend, uh, Kirsten, AKA Pet Muff, who is one of the most adorable people on the planet. I love everyone else in this video, but if we're being honest, Pet Muff just like encaps, encap, encapsula, in, encapsulates, encapsulates, encapsulates an adorable human. So she did a brand deal with Izzy, which is a sparkling, no sugar added, no preservative juice beverage blend, 90 calories in each can. And this was a promposal video, and so she proposed with an Izzy, which was pretty adorable, if we're being honest. Pet Muff, I would say yes to being your prom date. I know it's not prom season, but here we are. Okay, so this is the traditional, or like the classic variety pack that I got. So we've got sparkling grapefruit, sparkling apple, clementine, and blackberry. I'm excited. I'm a hoe for LaCroix, any flavored water. I haven't really met one that I haven't liked. I probably would not naturally opt for one of these over a LaCroix or a Bubbly or a Topo Chico. I've got a fun tropical bendy straw. If I'm gonna be drinking a semi-sugary like flavored juice beverage, like it better slap. And that it does. That's like orange juice on crack. You know, you know what it is? It kind of tastes like a mimosa, just without obviously like the alcohol taste. This literally just tastes like a mimosa. This is delicious. Okay, this is blackberry. I feel like blackberry is like not a common beverage drink. Not my fave, not my fave, but also delicious. Someone at some point said that the flavoring of LaCroix is like drinking sparkling water, but then having someone shout a flavor in the room next door so that you get like the essence of a flavor. I think I'm used to just like sparkling water flavoring just being so toned down and these are just like really intense. What I'm getting from all of these is that they would all taste delicious with alcohol. This is just tastes like candy. Truly all delicious. I don't know if I like them enough that I would want to drink the calories over just like a regular like LaCroix or Bubbly sparkling water, but I would be very excited to use this instead of just like regular fruit juice with something like a mimosa. I feel bad doing repeat friends because <laughs> now it's like I have another chance to potentially roast them. My bestie Remy, Miss Remy Ashton, Miss Cooking with Remy, Miss Remy Luxury. She did a sponsor with Smart Sweets, which I have tried before. I think I've tried the sweet fish before. And these are a great alternative for obviously like candy. Oh yeah, here we go. Some good branding. Kick sugar, keep candy. That's good. That's some good branding right there. So she did a sponsored post for a giveaway that was giving away 96 bags of Smart Sweets, which is just like a shit ton of candy. I love that for her. And these have two to four grams of sugar. And I want to give you a heads up because these do have a shit ton of fiber. Fiber reacts differently with everyone's body. So sometimes if I have a high fiber diet, I just won't poop for many days. And so that's just something to be aware of. It is a high fibrous food. <laughs> this has nine grams, which is 32% of your daily value intake of fiber. Okay, so her favorite are the gummy worms and the peach rings, but I feel like we should just do buffet style. This is a me problem and not a smart sweets problem. These sat on my um, front porch for an extended amount of time on delivery day. <laughs> okay, we've got our, oh, our sweet fish. We've got our Sour Blast Buddies. These are Red Twists licorices. Again, this is a me problem. <laughs> These are Fruity Gummy Bears. Gummy Worms, whoop. Based on kind of the more earthy tones that we're having over here, I'm guessing that the coloring is a little more natural, which is great, I'm all in favor for. Wow, buffet, so glad I didn't eat lunch today. Sweet fish. Oh my God, so good, but so sticky. This is 
not gonna be a cute segment of the video. I don't know if I love the gummy bears. I mean, I'm not not continuing to eat them, so they obviously have to be decent. I suck, like I, I have one job. I feel like it's hard to make sour candy sour without it being packed with fake sugar. And this does a pretty good job. Honestly, everything's good. Like there's not a bag so far that I wouldn't finish. I don't love licorice, personal preference. That one's not for me. That one's not for me. Sour Blast Buddies. Oh, these are good. These might be my favorite so far. We're saving the two best for last. By words of Mr. May Ashton. Remy, I'm trusting you. Peach rings and gummy worms. Okay, gummy worm. Good texture and tasty, but less flavorful than the other ones. I think because I came from the Sour Blast Buddies and went to the worms, it wasn't quite as flavorful, but it, it tastes good, just not as flavorful. And last but not least, peach rings. Oh, these might be the best. Personal fave, peach rings, buddies. And overall, just like generally, aside from the possibility of me not pooping for a few days, big fan, I'm gonna go pull the buddies out of my teeth before our next segment. I can't believe Crocs are getting this big of a segment in this video. So my good friends at the Try Guys did a sponsorship with Crocs, which is kind of iconic, especially knowing how many pairs of Crocs that Zach and Maggie accumulative, accu cumulatively, cumulatively have within their household. So they did a sponsorship with the slides for Crocs. I feel like Crocs probably doesn't need an ounce more of promo for their like classic style. Their whole segment honestly is just like free feet, which is a little concerning. I'm concerned for them at the amount of free feet that they are putting on the internet. Free feet over on the Try Guys channel. You heard it here first, free feet. So I went to go get myself a pair of slides and realized that they've got fuzzy slides. And like, why the f would you wear regular slides when you can wear fuzzy slides? As a Leo, listen, like I don't like being wrong. I really don't. I really don't enjoy being wrong. I will take the L on this because these are incredible. They're absolutely incredible. I have a few pairs of regular like classic Crocs and I don't think they're comfortable to be honest. I feel like people rave about their comfort. I think they're convenient, but fashionable, I can't get on board with that. I really just can't. But these are so insanely comfortable. I actually did an online order in prep for this video and the order got delayed and is coming tomorrow, which is super convenient since we're filming today. So I was able to get these at the store and I'm not gonna not keep both pairs of fuzzy slides, I'm pretty sure. And also gonna be honest, gibbet shopping is really fun. It's giving me the energy of those like metal charm bracelets that we had in the 2000s where you replaced the link with like a new one that had like a little charm on it. It. Like that's the energy that these are giving and I am absolutely here for it. Gotta be honest though, these are kind of expensive. Like a gibbet is $5 each or like the packs are between 15 to up to like 30 bucks, which is a lot. Like Crocs, I see you. I absolutely see you exploiting us and our nostalgia factor for a good custom charm. I do have pants on by the way. I'm not gonna give you the free feet content and actually my socks say off today. Ugh. They're so comfortable. You know what they remind me of is pillow slides of how comfortable those are, but then add fuzz on them and these are incredible. My feet are too sweaty to wear these without socks on the fuzz. And so this is just my state of living for the foreseeable future. Next up, we have Miss Tiffany Ma, who did a brand deal with Schick Hydro Silk Dermaplaning Wand. So obviously uh, Schick Silk, Schick, Schick? Schick Silk, oh my god, the inability to speak today is out of control. Obviously, Schick Silk makes razors, but this is specifically a dermaplaning wand to remove peach fuzz, gently exfoliate, and for glowing, smooth skin. I've always been really scared of using this on my face outside of just like dermaplaning the tops of my brows on areas that are like kind of hard to pluck, but I trust a bitch, and so let's hope this doesn't f my skin. I also went online to make sure that it really is dermatologist approved to do dermaplaning, because I've seen some just like absolute horror stories, and so a Essentially, the professionals not only offer dermaplaning at a lot of their own offices, but they use a sharper scalpel, like a little scalpel, which is a little terrifying. But if you do it correctly, it can be a great way to exfoliate the top layer of your skin and remove peach fuzz. So one thing that all of the articles made note of is that you should never dermaplane 
over any like broken skin that's already got acne because it'll just like over inflame the already inflamed area. Maybe I'll just like dermaplane like the peach fuzz on my hand and my knuckle and we can expose how hairy my hands kind of are. I feel like I've never really like looked in the light at how much Peach fuzz is like actually on my hand. Oh my God, new insecurity unlocked. Insert handle until it locks in place. Lift upwards. Wow, that was easy. I'm gonna try this on different parts of my face uh, later when I don't have makeup on. Oh, ew, I can see it. I can see it coming off. 45 degree angle. It's definitely removing dead skin. Oh, I feel like, okay, here we go, here we go. We're in the groove now. Ew. Ew, but like in a good way. Do I have dry knuckles? I think I do. This is shockingly sharp and I do really like like the curvy handle. I feel like it makes it way easier. The ones that I've used in the past are just like a shitty straight stick and this is like nice. Like this feels natural to hold. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the peach fuzz <laughs> I could possibly have. I'm excited to do like a hairier part of my face body. Okay, I've got no makeup on. This is just a cheapy one that I think was like a few dollars. And then this is the Hydra Silk one. I mean, obviously we've got a major difference in quality in the actual tool itself. This is typically not one of those things that I would splurge on if this works perfectly fine. So we'll see if this is worth uh, the luxury splurge for dermaplaning. So I just have clean skin right now. I haven't put any product on it. And I figured I've got two eyebrows. <laughs> so I'll do one with this one and one with the Hydra silk wand. It's been a hot minute since I've done this. Okay, dead skin coming off for sure. Definitely just chopped a brow hair off that I would have liked to keep on my face. <laughs> it's okay though. Do I have sideburns? Oh, that took more off than I wanted it to. <laughs> I mean, listen, like it's doing what a dermaplane do. Fine. Nothing life-changing. I actually don't know if I like how long this blade is. Like you can see the different length of blade here. I almost feel like because I have a small face and obviously like I'm already chopping brow hairs off that I didn't want to chop off with the small one. So it kind of scares me to have this long of a blade. Actually, I can't like put my finger on like what feels different about it. Maybe just a little sharper. It scares me a little bit to go this way. Oh shit, a lot just came off. Oh my God. Oh, that was, oh my God, can you see this? I feel like I need to hold it up against something dark. There we go, you can see it. You can see all just like the fuzz hanging off of it. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, yeah, this is definitely sharper. I just saw a clump of peach fuzz. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is a better product. This this hands down is a better product. I think it's sharper, I think it's smoother. I don't think you need this whole like bendy portion of it, but if it's something that you think is a value add, obviously like that's great for you. But just like overall, this portion is better. Next product is brought to you by our OnlyFans queen, Mia Sayoko. This is potentially one of the best executed brand deals that I've personally ever seen. She did some Instagram stories for Lilo and they are truly hysterical. And I just wanna say that I have tested, tried, and approved Lilo products. So Mia, get your coin and everyone else, get your, oh. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have a link to all of my YouTube friends that were mentioned in the video, a link to the Discord, and also if there are other brand deals that YouTubers have done that you want me to put to the test, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys next video. Bye guys.